Hi there, Malcolm here with my 22nd video for Wormberg Games and today I'll be bringing you a special video about my new arrival, my box throne. For years and years I've had my games stashed away in cupboards and cubby holes in the previous house I'd taken over the laundry cupboard and here they've occupied a 2x4 cabinet but they've been behind doors, locked away, never to be seen or accessed easily. I mean we're looking at various bits of furniture, we looked at the Calax which is quite a popular one for gamers and other storage solutions but nothing really seemed to snap and some of it was quite expensive for what it was. And then we came across the Box Throne by Board Game Shelves. Now the Box Throne comes as a lovely modular design which is very easy to assemble where we have plastic bases and metal stands. They come in a variety of colours, I chose blue, and the legs attached to the bases with two screws which come in the pack. And then each segment stands on the one below it and so it's just a repeated module. The metallic shelves also come in a range of colours, I chose red, and they fit into a series of holes on the back side of the legs all the way up and down to your own preferential position. So for deep games you can leave a big gap and for narrower games you can have a narrower gap. You actually have two holes running parallel to each other behind each of these posts so you can actually fit a floating shelf between your two units. This is one unit, this is the other unit. There's no base here. So as you can see there are the double holes and the legs literally just fit and slot in there. It's a little bit fiddly and they don't necessarily go in the holes you want them to. It can be a tight fit, and it can be very frustrating, but once you get it in, it just slots in and falls into place easy peasy. So there's the top of one unit, there's the gap between the two units, and there's the top of the next unit. But we have these shelves here to literally link the two units together. So you get three shelves between two units. You can get double width shelves, but I opted for the narrow ones. And then finally, if you look at the bottom half, may not be that obvious, but I have got a magnetically attached piece of ac acrylic plastic just to protect my games along the bottom. Having a lot of fun at the moment with my cat who's taken to spraying everything and I was reluctant to have my games out on display ready to get damaged that way. So I've got a short piece uh, for the end here. And all I've got is, is a series of adhesive magnets up and down the perimeter of this piece of plastic which is magnetically attached to the unit. And I've got a bigger piece to just protect the front. Like so. I found a neat little company down in, in the south of England called Cut My Plastic. Had a really helpful website where you literally put in the measurements of the plastic you wanted they do do extras like rounded corners and diamond finished edges. We can specify the thickness, the width, the height. And actually while I was in the middle of doing all that, I had a pop up on there as somebody on the other end was asking, did I need any help? And I had a nice conversation with them about whether this would be any good. I found them very friendly and less than a week later, this turned up in the post. So really impressed with them. I'll leave a link to both companies down below, though I would like to add that I am not endorsed by either of these companies in any way. Really impressed with both of them and thought you should know about them too. So why box throne? Why these particular shelves? Well first up, it looks good. Secondly, all my games are nicely on display, they're not behind any doors. Thirdly, I can display them the right way up, they're not on their sides, so all the bits that I carefully put into place aren't falling about in there. And you haven't got that lid slowly sliding open that you can find if they're just sitting on their own end on. And finally, because I've got all the shelves custom fitted to my own design, I can pick any game and it just literally slides out nice and easily. I'm not having to shuffle fuss about games above it or below it, I don't have to move anything. But they slide in and out really, really easily. So if I want to dix it, out it comes, in it goes, stick it to ride. There you go, everything else just stays there. Try to do this in mirror, and then it goes again. And then at the top I've got my big games that won't fit on any of the shelves and just sits over the two units quite happily. Like I, said, I could have gone for the wider shelves, but I didn't have enough big games to make it worthwhile. I've got 15 shelves per column here, and I've got 7 shelves left over, which I can't fit on here, which is a bit of a shame. But due to modular design, if ever I do decide to go that way any further, like so, I've got some shelves to start off with. All in all, really, really impressive. So do you have a box thrown? What storage solution works best for your games collection? I'd love to know, so comments down below please. But as usual, if, not, if you have nothing nice to say, then please keep it to yourself. And until next time, see you later.